Okay, guys, we're going to talk about histograms here um, in this uh, lesson. So here they're saying that histograms um, are going to be made from data. So we have an example where we have groups of high school basketball players that each shoot 50 free throws. Okay, and they have those, the number made listed. They want us to create a dot plot with this information. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to take this data and plot it. So we have one at 25, um, one at 29, another at 29, one at 30, another at 33. So I use 25, I use 29, I use 29, I use 30, I use 33, I have another at 34, I have another at 35, I have another at 35. I have another 36, 39, 42, and 44. Okay, so there we go. So now it says um, on your dot plot, circle the dots that are in each interval of the frequency table below. So an interval means um, between two numbers. So from this number to this number is an interval, okay? So like if I have from five to seven, that's an interval, okay? So that's what we're kind of looking at here. So they want us to circle dots that fall within the center, 20 to 29. So I'm going up to 29 and down to 20. So there we go, 30 to 39. So here's that. And then I have 40 to 49. There we go. They want us to enter the number of data values for each interval, 30 to 39. Well, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 20 and 29, I had 3. And then I had 2. Okay. So there we have it. Um, I'm going to erase this to make sure I didn't miss any here. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, 7 and 3 is 10 plus 2 is 12. Okay, analyze the data. How how were, how were was the data collected? Um, well, they took how many free throws were made and they um, wrote them down out of 50. Then we put it on a dot plot, right? Um what are the mean, median range, interquartile range of the data? Can we do that? Sure. Sure we can. So, easily, we can find the median here, right? So, I'm going to start with 25, 44, 29. Remember, median means middle, right? So, I'm going to knock these off until I get the middle number. So, I'm at 34. And 35 right so 34 what's it plus 35 so I would add those two together right so I say 34 plus 35 divided by 2 is 34.5 because I went 34 plus 35 and then I divided that by 2 and that gave me 34.5 for my median. Okay. Now I'm going to erase that. Now I'm going to add them all together. So for my mean, I'm going to take 25 plus 29 plus 29 plus 30 plus 33 plus 34 plus 35 plus 35 plus 36 plus 39 plus 42 plus 44 and then I am going to divide all that by 12 right to get my mean you should remember that from last week and I'm going to get 411 divided by 12 when I do that I'm going to end up with 34.25 for my mean. Okay, so I have median so far of 34.5. I have mean of 34.25. Okay, 
So then I can look and I can say, okay, the other thing what they want to know is the range of this data. Well, that's my highest number minus my smallest number. So I'm going to take 44 and I'm going to subtract 25 from it. And when I do that, I'm going to get 19 for my range. And now interquartile range. What does that mean? Do you remember? Well, what you should be thinking is looking at what is the um, range of your box plots. Remember that from this past week? The interquartile range. Okay, so take a minute and think about that, okay? Okay, so your interquartile range is the range your upper median subtracted, your lower median subtracted from your upper median, right? And so we said that our median was right here, so I'm gonna break it there. So now I need to find the median in my upper half. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. So now 36 plus 39, 36 plus 39 divided by two. So that's gonna give me my upper quartile. So that is 37 and a half. And now I need my lower quartile. So that's gonna be 29 and a half. This is gonna be 29 plus 30 divided by two is gonna be 29 and a half. So I'm gonna take 37 and a half minus 29 and a half to get an interquartile range of eight. Okay, so that's what we're looking for on this 16.5 um, page.